Acts 15. Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers, Unless you are circumcised, you can be saved. No, there's no small dissension and dispute. Paul and Barnabas and certain people. People. Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers, Unless you are circumcised, you can't be saved. Paul and Barnabas were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to see the elders and apostles about this question. Circumcision question. Go ask, please. Paul and Barnabas, Barnabas were sent to ask the elders and the apostles. The church sent them on their way, and as they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the Gentiles had been converted. This made all the believers very glad. So the church sent them go. Paul and Barnabas told how the Gentiles had been converted. Joy, I need to draw this again. <laughs> Uh, as they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, all the believers were very glad. They went through Jerusalem. The church sent them on their way, and as they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the Gentiles had been converted. This made all the believers very glad. When they came to Jerusalem, they were when they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and to whom they reported everything God had done through, through them. Everything God has done through us. Acts 15.5 Then some of the believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees stood up and said, The Pharisees who believed stood up, said the Gentiles must be circumcised and required to keep the law of Moses. After much discussion, Peter got up and addressed them. Much discussion, Peter got up and addressed them. Barnabas Sorry, not wearing my glasses, right glasses. Brothers, you know that some time ago God made a choice among you that the Gentiles might hear from my lips the message of the gospel and believe. The Gentiles would hear the gospel from my lips and believe. God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he did to us. God gave the Holy Spirit to them just like he did to us. God who knows the heart. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear? It's hard to bear this yoke. No, we believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are. Grace, we have been saved, just like them. Grace has been saved the Jews, and grace has saved the Gentiles. When they had finished, when they had finished, John James spoke up. Brothers, he said, listen to me. The words of the prophets are in, in agreement with this. As it is written, after this I will return and will rebuild the tab tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. I will rebuild its ruins and I will set it up. James stood up. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will set it up. It is my judgment, therefore, that we should not make it difficult for the Gentiles who are turning to God. Acts 15, 19. We shouldn't make it difficult to turn to God. We should make it easy for them to turn to God. Instead, we should write to them, telling them to abstain from food polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, from the meat of strangled animals, and from blood. So write a letter. Write to them, say, don't eat food from idols, no sexual immorality, no meat from strangled animals that's around your neck, ah, I'm getting strangled or choked, and no blood. For the law of Moses has been preached in every city. Acts 15.22 Then the apostles and elders with the whole church decided to choose some of their own men and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They chose Judas, called Barzabas, and Silas, who were men who were leaders among the believers. Men who were leaders among the believers. We choose you, the whole church. Apostles and elders chose Judas and Silas, called Barzabas, leaders among the believers. Let's go, Paul and Barnabas. 
With him, they sent the following letter. Judas Barzabas, to the brethren who are in our to the brethren, brethren who are the Gentiles and in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. For it seemed good to us to lay upon no greater burden than these necessary things. May you abstain from things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So this is Silas, Judas, and Barzabas. Go to Antioch. So the men were sent off and went down to Antioch, where they gathered the church together and delivered the letter. The people read it and were glad for its encouraging message. Judas and Silas sent this letter. Yay, what encouragement. So Silas stayed. Judas and Silas said, Much to encourage and strengthen the believers. Blessings of peace. So it's the believers. After some time, there were, they were sent off by the believers with the blessings of peace, but it seemed good to Silas to abide there. So Silas stayed.